Bob Dylan retains a fascination with his fellow songwriters. The American artist famously dropped past the house in New Jersey, where Bruce Springsteen grew up, sparking worried calls to the police from neighbors concerned by the disheveled figure wandering up and down the street. But there's more than one story. The relationship between Bob Dylan and the Fab Four was, at best, one-sided. The Fab Four idolized Dylan, and Dylan's music greatly impacted their own. On the flip side, Dylan could be very harsh, like when he famously told a devastated Paul McCartney that the impetus for his 1966 masterpiece, Revolver, was the desire to abandon his cute persona. In any case, Bob Dylan seems to have been more of a fan than he admitted. As part of his 2009 European tour, the songwriter played at Liverpool's Echo Arena. On a day off, he went to Mendips, the home of John Lennon's youth, located at 251 Menlove Avenue. John Lennon's aunt Mimi and uncle George lived on the property, which plays a significant role in the mythos surrounding the Beatles. The National Trust bought it and has since restored it to its 1950s condition so that it can serve as a realistic time capsule. Bob Dylan secretly boarded a tour bus and paid the 16 pounds for the privilege. News of his actions only broke almost a year later. Dylan looked to enjoy himself, according to a National Trust spokesperson. He rode in our standard minibus trip. It appears that people on the minibus did not recognize him, the spokeswoman told the BBC. He could have arranged for a private tour, but he preferred to ride the bus with the rest of the group, she continued. Bob Dylan isn't the only famous face to pass by John Lennon's childhood home. James Taylor and Corinne Bailey Ray are among them.